I will show you in this video how to take simple models and images like these and turn them into detailed and personally styled sketches of urban scenes. The ability to create realistic AI photos has been widely explored. However, sometimes a more creative sketch can clearly tell a story or explain a concept. This video takes a look at training your own model using Dream Booth and Stable Diffusion on custom styles to create detailed illustrations of cities. The process of creating these illustrative urban sketches can take many hours, if not days. However, the AI can not only generate it on a minute, but also have the creative ability to interpret its own scenes to give you more options and improvements. If you look at Pinterest for examples of architectural sketches, you can find a great range of beautiful illustrations, each with their own styles, colors, and details. Through the curation of your own data set, you can better control this style that you like, or one that is unique to your business or story. For this example, I'll choose about 20 images to start with to train the model. I'll pick some that are primarily blue, green, or white, and have simple line drawings. The better the images relate, the better your results will be to match that style. It is important that the images are 512 by 512, as this is the resolution Dream Booth extension takes when training. So save these all out into a separate folder. Then head on over to your Stable Diffusion UI. This can be either through the cloud service to run Diffusion, or locally on your machine. You can follow the links in the description below to the previous videos on how to do this. In the main UI, head over to the Extensions tab and on the available, type in Dream Booth. I've already installed it, but it will show up below and you just need to hit the Install and then refresh your UI. A new Dream Booth tab will appear now, so go and click on that. Put in an appropriate name for your model and then click the 512 model. So now you can see why we had to rescale all our images. What is important to note is that we are not creating a new model from scratch, but taking an existing one and injecting our data set into this. So I'll use the version 1.5 as a model to inject my selected styles into. Then just click Create Model and let it create all the folders we need. Once that's done, go to the input settings. The main slider we need to adjust are the epochs, which are essentially the total number of iterations of all the training data in one cycle. So I'll enter here around 200. To save time in training, I will remove previews and save model frequency to zero. You can scroll on down and mostly keep the other settings at default here. Just make sure to keep the tuning optimizer set to 8-bit Adam or it will not work. And the mix precision to FP16 and the memory attention is at default. Advanced settings can be left as it is for now. Then click on a tab called Concepts and paste in the link to your folder where your saved datasets are. The next important step is the instance prompt. This is the prompt that will be used to trigger the custom style. So in this instance, it will start with an architectural sketch in the style of something something. Just choose a word which is unique, for example, a random mix of letters so that the model does not get confused with existing prompts. Then save the settings and hit the train button. This could take between an hour and a few hours, depending on your GPU and the size of your data set. Now you're ready to create our sketches. You'll first have to refresh your UI, and then at the top left, you will be able to see the new model we have trained. So in this case, the urban sketch model. The rules of the image generation follow the same steps as I've shown in my previous video. Set the samples to between 20 to 30 steps, set the size of your image, and start with a modest CFG scale of around 8. You can play around with this scale later to increase the number to allow more creative interpretations. We will still use the control net here, as we would like to base our images on a screenshot of a simple model. Although you can create these sketches just based on text. Enable the control net and set the model and preprocessor to depth. You can adjust the control weight to determine how close to the original image the AI should stick. 
For the base image, I have assembled a very rough model from the Google warehouse to demonstrate that you don't need a beautiful model for this workflow. I'm taking a screenshot of an area view I like in SketchUp, but this can be done in any 3D software. So for the prompts, just typically type in the sentences you'd like to describe the scene. But here you must remember to add the sentence sketch in a style of and put in whatever you trained your prompt on. So for example, mine would be E-Y-B-N-X-U-C. You can then begin the training and instantly you'll see the sketcher model transformed into these hand sketches. At this point, you can have a lot of fun changing the styles and augmenting the scene to create new features such as lakes or more interesting stylized buildings. By adjusting the CFG scale to a much larger number, you can get some very surprising results and greater varieties of styles. Although if you want to try and keep to your original train dataset, keep the CFG scale to a lower number. I will now let the AI generation run a few times so you can get an idea of the variations and different urban scapes that you can create. This process works on any 3D model or scene. So here you can see the AI is working on inventing a new urban park in the empty space of the input image. Even the towers in the background have some nice detailing and window sketching. I particularly like the water park and the small boats generated. Although this is mainly because in the trained data set I used there are many examples of blue lakes in the middle. Similarly, most of the scenes are populated with little sketch people, as they were all present in the trained data set images but it does really help to bring out the images more to life and give a sense of scale. The selected data set images had the primary colors of green for vegetation, blue for water and beige for streets. So these clearly come out in the image generation showing that the training works. Some more exotic colors and styles sometimes pop up when you push the CFG scale too high. The trees are also nicely translated from the 3D SketchUp to the artistic sketch style. And just like that, with a simple data set and quick training, you can already see the potential to create for free your own unique architectural illustrations, which can be reused over again for each new project. With this said, you can already see a lot of roughness in the sketches and at times it's difficult to control the content. However, this can be greatly improved through curation of the data set images. Another suggestion would be to drain multiple models and label the images to focus on certain styles and urban features such as skyscrapers, for example, to gain greater control. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you enjoy training your own sketches. I would also enjoy hearing about your improvements on this workflow and seeing what results you can generate. Thank you.